Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode with the Grim Ripper. No, this is not an April Fool's Day joke. There is actually a new episode with the Grim Ripper today. I know it's been a while, trying to get back on the old horse as it were, and get some more videos up on the channel. I hope you enjoy today's very short video. We're going to do something a little bit vintage. It's going to be a pretty quick rip, but it's a a, a fun little little pack that we're going to be opening today. All right, uh, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, welcome to the Grim Ripper. I hope to earn your subscription. And I do want to welcome a new Patreon supporter to the channel. We've got Joshua out of Chicago. He is a fellow Chicago Cubs fan, so he is very welcome to the channel, as I myself is a Cubs fan as well. And I am looking forward to a new season of baseball, and I hope the Cubs do well. And good luck to all of the teams of all the other folks watching today. All right. Without any further ado, let's get going with this quick, quick, quick rip tonight. So we're going to be opening this pack of baseball buttons. They're from Fun Foods is the company that put these out. They did 133 of these that you could collect. Three buttons in each pack. It says collect, wear, and trade full color photos. And on the back of the pack there is a checklist. I haven't looked at the other packs to see if the checklist is different on the back of each one. I suspect it might be. Well, maybe not. But there are some of the players you can get. All the real vintage players. We've got Charlie Hogue and Phil Necro listed on there. I think these are from 1984, if I remember correctly. I think that's the, uh, the year that was on the box at the at the store. My, yeah, there we go. It's right here on the front of the pack, 1984. Major League Baseball Players Association right there. So I got these at my local card shop. He always has some interesting things available because he's always buying collections from people, be it unopened product or single cards. So he always has quite a nice collection of things to choose from. And this is the premier collector's issue. Probably was the last. I don't know if they did a 1985 set. But let's rip this thing open and see who we can find in the Fun Foods Baseball Buttons from 1984. Here we go. Maybe we'll get some fun Cubs. Some cool old vintage players. I'm going to try to reach in and pull out one button at a time just to see who we get. All right. On the back of this... Fun Foods, number 42 of 133. You can kind of see right in there. Outfield. So we've got an outfielder with the average of 276. Let's see who we have. And that is going to be Cesar Cedeno of the Cincinnati Reds. Be hard to focus on those little things, but there we go. Cedeno, Cesar Cedeno. If you're a Reds fan, there you go. That is number 42 in the set. See if they'll stand up right there. Yeah, we'll get them to stand up. All right, button number two. Here we go. This is going to be button number 34 out of 133. Designated hitter. With an average batting average of 238. Who do we have? That is going to be Greg Lezinski of the Chicago White Sox. There we go. I know we have a couple of Sox fans on the channel. Epiphany Card Collector. That's Johnny out of California. And we also have Debbie. She is in Illinois. She's a White Sox fan as well. So there is Greg Lezinski. If he'll stand there, he's going to roll a little bit, but that's okay. They are round, after all. Nope, he just fell over. Mr. Lazinski didn't want to stand up. And the last button in this pack is going to be a blue button. Button number 132 out of 133, another outfielder, and I just killed Mr. Lazinski again. Boy. 
I don't hate the White Sox, everybody, even though I'm a Cubs fan. Not purposely giving Lazinski a hard time here. He's just having a hard time standing up on his own. There we go. Here we go. An outfielder with an average of 280. This is a blue-backed pin, and that is going to be Lloyd Mosby of the Toronto Blue Jays. So there we go. All right, Mr. Lazinski. So we've got a uh, north of the border one there, and I'm pretty sure we have some Blue Jays fans on the channel. I think Shaw Racing Collects might be a Blue Jays fan. If you're not, RJ or Shaw Collects, let me know. So there we go. That's our first pack of buttons. I'll probably open a f uh, some more packs of these throughout the week. But we'll also be opening some baseball packs. And then on Wednesday, we'll be opening some football packs. So uh, join us for those different fun rips this week. It's like Mr. Cedeno tried to roll away as well. And Mr. Lazinski is just going to lay down on the job again. All right, Greg. Just causing havoc all over the board here. There we go. All right, and just uh, some administrative notes. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you get subscribed. We've been trying to top the 300 level for a long time now. We've been stuck at 291 for months and months and months. We'll occasionally get a new subscriber, but then I think the YouTube algorithm knocks one off about the, t about the time we get a new one. So if you haven't subscribed and you're watching the channel today, go ahead and do that. Also, hit that like button. Let's get the channel out there in front of more folks. And if you've not yet looked at our Patreon operation, there will be a link in the description. Head on over there. We have several tiers of support available that you can be involved in. And uh, there are some fun things you can receive each month. And also that gives you the uh, an opportunity to be involved in monthly drawings for cards. Speaking of which, I know we haven't done our February drawing yet. And we haven't done our March drawing either. So watch for those videos. I'll try to stick those in maybe over the weekend and get our March and April Patreon-only drawings done for those couple of months. And also, we've got our Patreon packages going out for our Patreon members for the month of March. I'll be sending those out uh, most likely on Monday. So watch for those in the mail if you're a Patreon member. And thanks again for dropping by today, April the 1st. We're going to try to start the month off right and get a video up every day, even if it's just one pack of cards to start with. So have a great weekend, everyone, and we'll see everyone on the next video.